Hey guys, what's going on? You know, this is Matthew Taman, and I am so excited to have you guys be part of my first official Google Hangout. You know, I've been planning to do this for some time now, but I just feel that now is the moment that I need to get it done. So, uh, let me see, I'm just getting used to this interface here. And you know, later on, I'm going to be, you know, taking questions, you know, from you guys. And if you have a question, I uh, definitely love to, you know, answer some of those. I know a lot of people have questions, you know, about, you know, how to use the creative website with Joomla. So the, the point of this meeting here today is I want to be able to teach you how you can be able to create a very professional website with Joomla with little or no coding experience. And at the end of this course, I am going to be creating a website live so that you can be able to see how you can replicate, you know, the same thing. So uh, let's get started here. All right. Well, for those of you who don't know, you know, Joomla is a really great content management system that allows you to be able to create a website fast and you don't have to you know know a lot of coding to get started with it but I, I do say this that I'm not discouraging anyone from learning how to code so if you want to learn how to code by all means uh, you definitely I encourage you to do so so let's get started here all right the first thing that you're going to need when you're creating a website is you have to know what type of website that you want to create. Okay, you have to you know is it an e-commerce website? Do you want to sell something online or do you just want to share information? So have an understanding of the type of website that you want to create is going to save you so much time and headache. And I'm going to be creating a, a, a real a basic business website for one of the students you know, who, who took some, uh, taking some of the courses and they reached out to me and had, you know, some questions. So I figured, you know, why not create the website, you know, live so they can be able to see. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so the first thing, that, you know, you want to do is you need some type of uh, web hosting account. And the web hosting account is going to allow you to be able to um, have the website live so that people can be able to see it. So I'm just going to set up, you know, right now I have a demo account set up here, and I am going to be creating. All right, this is what the website looks like now. So as you can see, it's, it's very basic. There's nothing pretty much on there, but by the time that we're done with it, you know, I'm going to, you know, it's going to look so much different than this. And we're going to be using a template to create this site. You know, templates are a great way for you to get started because they save you so much time uh, for you to, to have something up and going. So this is the, the design. We're going to be using this uh, this template and create it so that way it has the clients you know information on there. All right, so I'm back here. The first thing that you need to do is you need to download the template. So whatever template that you're using, you have to download it, which I've already done. So uh, here, so you have to download that template and then you have to unpack it. When you unpack a template. That means that you extract the files from that particular template. So I've done so here. So these are all the files that are part of that particular template. This is called a quick start. And a quick start allows you to be able to, you know, have your, your website look just like the demo uh, website. In our case, we want the site to look, you know, like this. So we're going to take, oops, go down that. All 
All right, hold on. Sorry. So we're going to take, you know, turn this site so that it looks something like this one. And we're going to change the menu items. We're going to change the, the logo, the pictures here, and, you know, clean it up a little bit. Because for this particular set we're creating, it's not going to be a real clutter site. It's going to be a really basic, you know, basic site. Um, all right, so, oops, clicked on that. Okay, so now that I have this template, you have to, the premium templates, you have to buy those. So I have already bought the template, and I downloaded it on my computer, and I've extracted the files. The next thing that I need to do is to get all the files from here over to the actual server that this particular site is going to be created on. And in order for you to transfer files from your computer to, you know, the server and vice versa, you need an FTP. And what I'm using is uh, FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP client that allows you to transfer content, you know, whether it's images, <coughs> excuse me, text from one, uh, from your server to your uh, computer. So I'm just going to connect here. Before you connect here, there are a few things that you need. You need the host. Uh, the username and the password. Now, if you don't have this information, you can contact you know the company that you're hosting your website with, and they'll be more than happy you know to give this to you. So you want to get the host, username, and password. Because I use FTP so much, I'm already connected to it. So I just have to find out from the Quick Connect. Okay, so now I'm connected to the server. What I have to do at this point now is locate the files from my computer and transfer it over to the server where I'll be creating a website. All right, since I'm not creating the site on the on the main domain, for example, the primary domain, but a subfolder, um, I'm creating a subfolder here that the site is going to be on. For example, if your website is, um, let's say, marketingnow.com, but you don't want to create, you don't want to install Joomla on the primary domain. So when people go to uh, marketingnow.com, if that's not where Joomla is going to be installed, but you want to put it in a subfolder, you create a, a subfolder for that particular domain, which is what I'm doing here. So I am going to create a subfolder, and I'm just going to call it JTest. Okay. So what I've done now is I've created a folder called JTest. This is where all the Joomla stuff is going to be. So now I have to transfer the files that I've extracted from the, the template files, So which I have them right here. Okay, next I am going to drag. You just drag all the way down. And you have to make sure that you put it on the right spot because if you drag this and accidentally put it somewhere else, it can do what's called override. That means that it can just delete whatever is there and, and have something else different. So this is the folder right here, the JTest, that I'm going to be creating this on. So I've highlighted the files that I need to transfer over. So I'm just going to drag it and just drop it right there. And if you notice here at the bottom, it's a, uh, the files that are loading. There's uh, a few thousand files, so this process it can take, you know, uh, it can take some time in order for this to be able to load properly. So there's over six thousand files. You know, this is going to take about 25 minutes or so to upload, based on the size of the template. It can take some time, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 or 40, based on how large that particular file is. So. You just want to put that there and then just give it some time so that way it loads. Now while this is loading, there are a few things that I want I want to do. All right. In order for you to successfully complete uh, a Joomla uh, installation, you need to have a database set up. And the database, this is where you're going to store the information when people log in. Um, all the stuff that you're working on, in order to properly, you know, configure Joomla, you need a database. So I am going to set up a database right now. So for those of you who have cPanel, 
you can log into your cPanel and you want to locate where it says databases and you want to find my SQL database so I'm going to click on that all right from here it's asking me to create a new database. There are two types of databases you have to create. One is the actual database, and then the next one is the user. So we're going to create a database called JTest1. And then click Create. OK. And then go back. Now we've created the database called JTest1. Scroll down to the bottom here, and you want to create a username. You want to add a user. So you can use a different name for the database and the user, or you can use the same name. In this case, I'm just going to use the same name, JTest1, as well. And then for the password, you want to choose a password that's, for, that's real complicated for people to be able to guess. Uh, because one thing with the CMS platforms, whether it's WordPress, Joomla, uh, Drupal, is people can be able to access your database, you know, steal some information. So you want to make sure that you create a password that's, you know, not just one, two, three, four, five, six, of course. So I'm just going to create, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to create a basic password. And you notice as I type here, it's showing, you know, the, the strength, uh, 26 out of 100. You know, that's, pretty, that's, that's weak. And it tells you here, you know, the strength of that. Uh, but that's okay for now. So I'm just going to click Create User. And then go back. And this asks if I want to save the password. I don't want to save that now. Okay. So after you've created the database and you've added the user, now it's time to add the user to the database. So next, you want to locate the new database. If, I'm sorry, the user you created. So I am going to JTest1 for the user. And for the database, I have to locate JTest1 as well. All right. So now click Add. And once you've clicked add, you brings you to this page. And it's ask it's, it's asking for privileges. You want to make sure that all the privileges here are checked. So in order to do that, you just click this. And once you're done, click make changes. All right. The next thing that you want to do is you want to save the user and the database. Because you're going to need this information later when in order for you to complete the installation of uh, the Joomla site. So what I normally do is just highlight it and just copy it. You can paste it somewhere. I'm just going to click on go back. Okay, so now I've created the data, the user and I've add, created the database and I've added the user to the database. So now they're connected. All that's left at this point is we we'll have to wait until these files have been completely transferred over. So let's go back and look at this. There are a few things here that I want you to notate. Every template have different features. There are certain things that are available in a particular template that other templates may not have. And when I'm creating a website, I look for key things. First of all, I look for uh, a website that's very easy to navigate. When you're creating a website, the last thing you want is for people to come to your website and they're confused about where do I go, what do I do, how do I get this information, and all this, you know, questions. So you want to have a design that's very, very basic, but yet professional enough so people don't, you know, they're not frustrated trying to locate where things are. And each template here, as you go through each menu, you notice that you have different features. Um, for the features here, let's go to module variation. The module variation, it tells you that which, with each box here, this is how you can have each box to look a different way. You can have each box to have a unique um, look to it. So, for example, you have to enter which has this free, you have the inner top, which has this new. And as I start working on the site, once the files have been transferred over, you see how all this stuff here applies. So, and I mean, it's really cool because you can be able to take something that looks so basic and boring and you add all this different suffixes, what this is called, and it adds more life to it. 
So that's really what separates uh, a basic design from a professional design. There are so many people who are creating websites, but their website look horrible. They don't put the time and research in the type of website that they want to create. And sometimes when you get to a site, they have like 25,000 different colors, you know, black, green, red, orange, you know, all those different dynamics going. So you want to find something that's really, really clean. And I love how this is set up here. And of course, in other, I'm working on other courses too that are going to show you how to create a custom template um, so you can be able to add your own features in there and, and give it the look and feel that you want. And also the typography. The typography allows you to style, you know, um, add more spice, you know, to your content. Uh, for example, if you take a look at some of these here, you notice that each section here is different. All this right now, you know, may not make as much sense, but when I start to actually creating the site and editing, you see, how, you know, all this thing, you know, stuff here makes, you know, a lot of sense. And then here, when you put your mouse over the home, you notice that you have different drop downs. And all these different drop downs are different variations of this particular template that you can choose. For example, when you let's go back to the home page you can be able to choose uh, the different variations here so you go to home and you click on concert what's going to happen is that oh that's the default you click on let's click on spring you notice that the background changes now it's a different color scheme and that's one of the beauties about Joomla that is so customizable that if you don't like a particular color color scheme you can be able to change it with just one click all right let's go back to spring and we'll go to city something else comes up so this allows you for a lot of flexibility you can be able to take this and choose whatever uh, layout that you want and you know while this is loading, you know, people often ask me a lot of questions, you know, how did I get started with, with Joomla and on web design, as a matter of fact. And I just want to share with you guys, you know, a little bit about myself. All right, let me check you to see. All right, I just want to share with you guys, you know, a little bit about myself and how did everything come about, you know, because I believe that it's, it's important, you know, the, the, the position that I am now or where I am now, you know, it's, it's been a journey. It's not something that just happened overnight. And I just want to share, you know, a little bit about my background, you know, how I got started and things like that. I forget, so you get to meet my family as well. All right, let's start here. All right, well, this is a picture here of me and my lovely wife, you know, Julianne. Uh, that's, you know, the night that we got engaged. You know, that night I was so nervous and I just, I just, didn't, you know, I, I was nervous, you know, because I knew that I wanted to propose to her, uh, but I just, I was hoping that I did it the right way. You know, every guy have this idea or, or of how they want to propose to their, you know, their loved one, I mean, to their, their, their wife to be. And this here, we went to a photo um, shoot. I set everything up, you know, the photographer, you know, did a, a pretty decent job. And she didn't know that I had the ring and everything, you know, set up. I had went to Zales, you know, uh, probably like a week or so before and, you know, spent a couple hours in the store and, you know, picked out a nice ring. So I spent that whole week just taking a look at that ring. I was just like, man, I hope that she, she likes this ring. So we went there and, you know, I proposed to her and, and, you know, she said yes. You know, I'm glad she said yes. It was, you know, it was uh, a day that I'll never forget. You know, it was a day I'll never forget. And here in this next picture here, this our daughter, our uh, first daughter, Josie, and this one she was, had just turned one year old. This was her, her first birthday. And we wanted to take her to the mall so she can get her ears pierced. 
and she you see right there she has that look you know just looking at, at the camera that day was 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 fun I have other pictures that you know she cried and cried and you know and this picture right here is me playing at, at this church you know most people don't know that or some people rather don't know that music is also one of my passions you know I've been playing you know the piano for all, for about 13 or 14 years now and I play sometimes when people have you know weddings or special events I play for you know different churches and you know it was it was fun you know I really enjoyed playing it so if I'm not here if I'm not coding I'm not doing some type of website work uh, this one of the passions you know that I have and and my goal one day too is I'm you know eventually create some type of training tutorial or something you know to teach people how to play piano by ear I can play by ear and I can also sight read so that's something I really enjoy doing and here's me I, I was invited to you know do a book signing they have this bookstore had purchased my book let me go back this bookstore purchased you know my books I've published you know three books you can go to amazon.com or Barnes and Noble and you know see some of the books there but I actually wrote my first book started writing it when I was 16 when I started college you know I was I was so passionate that you know um, I was able to complete it so when I was 20, you know, I finished my first book, published it, and I was really excited. And this bookstore, you know, this local bookstore, they got a copy of it and, you know, they read it and thought it was really, uh, you know, interesting book. So they had me to come over to do uh, a book signing there, and, you know, I had a good time. So yeah, go to, go to um, Amazon and just check that out. And then next here is me and my wife again, you know, another picture that we took that day. And here is my lovely daughter. I love her so much, uh, Josie. You know, she's she's daddy's little girl. And the reason why I work so hard and to do so much is because I want to, you know, make sure that my kids have a uh, good life. I want to make sure that their life is something that, you know, it, it's it's a good life. That's what every parent, you know, every loving parent for their kids is. You want to provide for your kids, for your family, and that's why I put in so much time and, and always working on stuff, always creating stuff, always doing stuff, um, just so that my kids, you know, they're my heart. And here's the picture we took over at, uh, went over to Chuck E. Cheese, and we had a great time. Look at my son, he's just like, huh? So we had a great time there, and that's our newborn here, Josh. And this is us at home just relaxing. You know, I love my kids. We have a really, really good time when we're home and we're together. You know, we just we just do stuff because I just enjoy being around them. They enjoy being around me. So we have a great time. You know, we just we just bug out. <laughs> you know, we uh, enjoy. And here's a picture of my son Joshua when he was just born. This when he's in the hospital. Um, it's so little, you know, that clothes just, you know, swallowed him up. So in the meantime, let me check over here. All right, as we can see here with the files, you know, there's still uh, 3,800 plus that needs to uh, upload over to the server. So thus far, these are the current stuff that we have. So we'll just give that a moment, you know, just to uh, finish loading up. And here's another picture again with me and my son, Josiah. You know, he's my first boy, and I, I always take pride in, you know, pride in just just having kids. You know, my kids, I love them so much, you know, and my philosophy about kids is that, you know, you make them take care of them. <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's how I look at it, that I don't want someone else to take care of my kids. You know, I don't want to make wrong decisions that's going to put me in a position that I can't be there for them. So I, everything that I do, I'll make sure it's 100% legal because <laughs> I ain't trying to get locked up, man. I'm not trying to go to jail. And here again is me and my lovely wife. We got invited to a, uh, a fishing event, went out in the deep blue seas and, uh, you know, fished for some bluefish. And I caught about maybe a thousand of them. <laughs> well, 
not a thousand, but I caught a lot, you know. It was it was a great time, you know, just me and her. And, and you know, one thing, too, that I've learned is that in order for me to be able to achieve anything as a married man, the support of my wife is very, very important. You know, without her support, I would not have been able to do much. But she's been so supportive. She's been so encouraging. She's been there for me. You know, so during the rough times, during the good times, during the whatever times, you know, she's always, you know, been very supportive of, of the things that I do. And here's me a few years ago at a train station or the, the bus station bus terminal I believe and I always have my laptop with me everywhere that I go I have this laptop I have something to write on or something to take notes on because I'm always having ideas and I just jot them down I have I have a few notebooks that you know I, I just put ideas and stuff that come to mind and, and just put them on so that way I can go back and, and just fine-tune some things and, and build from there. I'm, I'm a firm believer in having a goal. It's so important. Ever since the age of 12 years old, I've always set goals. You know, I've, I have set a, a short-term goals and long-term goals. You know, short-term goals within the next, you know, three to six months. You know, what do I want to do? Or where do I want to be? And then, you know, long-term goals, you know, 5, 10, 20 years down the line, uh, what exactly? I want to want to you know be doing and honestly what I'm doing right now web design and business and marketing it's not something that I thought that I would have ever done you know or would have been doing at this point in time in my life uh, but I'm glad that I'm in the path that I am now because it's it's allowed me so much flexibility so much freedom um, to be able to, to pursue my passion what I'm doing is I love what I'm doing. You know, whenever whenever I get the opportunity to impact the lives of people, it brings me so much joy, so much excitement. You know, just so much. All right, we got that firewall message up there, but it brings me a lot of joy. Right, let's take a look here to see how the upload is going. Okay, there's just an override stuff here. I'm just going to click OK. So as you can see, the, the longest part when I'm creating websites for me, it's not even so much, you know, the design phase or, you know, creating stuff. It's more just uploading, which, you know, can take some time for, you know, those files to get uploaded. All right, so let me come back here. All right, let me see here. Who's on? Okay, now let's go back over here, you know, to um to the server. And just to review as, you know, this, this stuff is loading, is you want to make sure that you've created your database. You know, that's something that you're definitely going to need in order for you to access or complete the installation of Joomla. Now, there are different ways that you can install Joomla, but the manual way I'm doing it is because I want this particular site that I'm going to work on, I want it to look just like this with some modifications that I can do on my part. So that's the reason why you install Quick Start. Quick Start is pretty much just a demo of the uh, the template that you want. So every template designer, even when I create templates, I create a Quick Start so that some people who want to want to have you know their website to look just like the demo, they can just you know download it and you know put it on their server. And this is using uh, Joomla 3, Joomla 3.1, I believe. That's what this particular uh, site we're creating is. And, let's, and, and Joomla, there's been so many different versions. The current version right now is Joomla 3.2.
and 3.2 have so many features that allows you a lot more flexibility in terms of the interface and you know how you can be able to make use of it and I want to show you right now this is the members part of uh, learnjimlafast.com by the way I'm just going through some stuff here because you know I'm just waiting for the files to finish uploading which is always the longer part but here's the learnjumlafast.com. <clears throat> this is the members part. So once you log in, once you uh, subscribe, you you log in. You can be able to take you know the courses. You can view this on your your cell phone. You can you know pretty much on any device. And I designed this interface with Joomla. Everything you're seeing right now is 100% you know Joomla. I want to show you that when you learn Joomla, you can be able to do so much with it. And once you get comfortable with it, then you can, you know, you can experiment more. <clears throat> but as with anything else, there's always a learning curve to what you're learning. There's always, you know, some type of learning curve. The key thing is, in order for you to be successful in anything, you have to keep working at it. You have to make sure, you know, that you're you're um, sticking with it. And the first part here is when you go to the learn section, the learn part have all the courses that are currently part of you know the system now. And I'm always working on new courses that I add on, you know, every couple of weeks I have a new course, you know, that comes out. And all those courses are created from the ground up, so it's not something that I saw from somewhere else and I'm trying to incorporate it. All these are courses that you can learn how to do different things with Joomla. When I first started, uh, they didn't have the material that they do now. If I came across a site like this one when I first started, it would have helped me to learn Joomla so much faster, so much quicker. Um, because I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. So it took me some time for me to, to get understand how things really work. But once I understood those, then I'm able to teach people and help them. So that way, instead of you know them having to learn, you know, take a long time for them to learn, you know, they can be able to you know pass some of those learning curves. But the courses right now, for example, the Joomla 3.2, which is the latest version of Joomla. This course just goes over some of the updated changes that um, Joomla made. And there are quite a few things th there that you know Joomla updated from the design to additional features. So this course gives you a thorough understanding of everything that you need to know from start to finish. Uh, from things such as content versioning which is one of the biggest biggest features that was added with this new uh, Joomla version. So once you're part of it, you just click Enroll. And once you enroll in the course, you have access to everything. You can start you know, watching it, and you get this message here, Enroll Successfully, and you can start you know, taking the course now. So I'm just going to click a manual install on Joomla, which is one of the courses there. And you have here this clean design, clean interface. You know, interface for me, I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, I'm a big believer in, in quality stuff. And I believe that in order for you to, you know, to, do, to, to have a quality product, you need to make sure that you spend time to do something. So what I did was... It took me a long time for me to design this interface, and it looks real basic, but it took time because I had so many trials. I had different positions, you know, different tweaks here and there, and I was able to finally come up with something, you know, that I felt that was, was pretty decent. All right, so the files here, they're at, you know, 2,000. A um, few more to go, but as you notice, too, they're uploading, you know, really quickly. If you see right up here. It's going fast. All right, so here we have learning tips. And the learning tips here just gives you a way for you to understand that in order for you to learn effectively, there are certain things you have to understand. You know, when people learn something, especially when they log into the site, you know, I give them 
certain steps that they can take to ensure that they're using, making the best of the site. And the my certificates is another feature. So once you complete a course, you're going to get a certificate for that course. You can take that certificate to, you know, to get a job at a job interview so you can show them that, you know, you have the knowledge of creating websites with Joomla. And my goal for the certification is I want to take this a little bit step further. You know, hopefully I want to get accredited someday, you know, which means that people that come here to take courses is going to be an accredited, you know, school. So when you take the courses and you pass the, the final exam and you get the certification or certificate of completion, this allows you to be able to, to um, get pro Joomla work. So if you're getting in this because you want to become a designer or you want to make some income creating websites, this is the perfect, perfect way for you to do it because you can learn how to create so many different things. And the best part about it is you can create a website fast with Joomla. Uh, normally, that would take you years. I mean, not years, but it would take you, you know, a few months to create. When I first started, I had to learn, you know, a, a bunch of coding. And I was terrified of coding because when I looked at the screen, there was just so much going on that I didn't know what to do. For example, let me pull up the source code of this page. Now, if you're beginning, and I tell you that in order for you to create a website, you have to, you know, know all this stuff here. This is going to scare you. This is definitely going to, you know, make you think twice about learning. But what's happened is that over the years, you know, designers and programmers have, have come up with different ways that allows you to learn things, you know, faster. But when I started, I had to learn how to hand code, you know, a lot of different things. So this is what I had to do when I started. Looking at all this here and you know CSS, HTML, JavaScripts, you know that terrified me in the beginning because I had no clue what that was and I spent so much time on the internet trying to learn what 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 does this word mean? You know CSS, HTML and all this blah blah blah. But after some time, I was able to get a good understanding of, you know, of how that works. So once again, I just want to say that I'm not discouraging anyone from learning how to code. You know, if, it's great that you have the understanding of the basics. Um, and I'm also working on another course that's going to teach you the basics of HTML, CSS, so that you can be able to use that knowledge to further advance your, your Joomla skills. You know, I've been able to create something like this because I had to learn uh, the basics of Joomla. And once I learn some, some coding, then I can do a little bit more. But as I mentioned before, in order for you to get started, you don't need necessarily need to know how to code. You can get started and, you know, create beautiful websites. And let me take you to this My Network online community. All right, so we're almost there. Almost there. We've got about 1,400 files and counting. You know, as I mentioned before, you know, this is the longer part of actually the site creation part. You know, this takes some time and, you know, the files get uploaded. So on the online com community, uh, this is where you get to network with other people. You can be able to edit your profile. You can change your profile picture. You can change your profile video. You can edit your profile. You can change your your privacy uh, your privacy settings. You can you know check your friends, uh, invite friends. So I wanted I just didn't want this to be just another learning site. You know I've been part of some learning sites and. I wanted a little bit of social feature as part of it. Something where you're able to connect with people. That's the main reason why I integrated this, uh, the social part of it with this, because I want to connect with you. And then, of course, yeah, there's some also video. You know, you can post videos, and and then we have you the forum. Now the forum, this is where if you have questions, 
you can be able to post you know your questions here about each uh, each section, each course, each part of you know the the website. All right, we're almost there. And then we have the invite tool where you can be able to invite your friends on, you know, from Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So if you, when you become a member and you're part of this, you know, with just one click, you can, you know, just tell your friends over at, at Facebook, like, listen, I'm part of this site and this is great, you know, just uh, come check it out. So that's what that part does. And here is my goal section. As I mentioned before, I'm a firm believer in creating goals because goals, you know, helps you to set the path that you want to get to in life. So what I've done is I've integrated a goals manager here, and this allows you to set personal goals. For example, let's say you finish taking a course how to create a social network. Well, with the goals manager, you can be able to uh do just that. You can set your goal for creating your first uh, social network, which is what I've done here with create my first Joomla website. So when I click on this, it lets me see my progress. It lets me add, you know, different milestones of how things are going, and you know, and you can always edit the goal. You can also, you know, create different plans. But the whole point of this goals manager is that it allows you to be able to create a goal for what you're trying to accomplish. And I just don't want people to be part of the site, and then you know they just you know take the courses and then that's it. So this goals manager here is is a way for you to take advantage of it, so you can plan out. You know, you've learned how to you've learned about Joomla now. What are the next steps that you need to do? in order for you to actually start using Joomla. You know, I have so many students who, who've completed the course, you know, but they haven't taken that step yet to actually create a, create a website with Joomla, you know, which is the, the ultimate goal that once, you, um, once you've learned, then you want to put that into application. All right, we're almost, almost there. Got a few more files, and we should be set to go. And here I have also, I have a question tab. And with the have a question tab, you know, as I mentioned earlier, there's always a learning curve with something. You maybe have a question, you have you're not clear about something, you can always click that, and this is going to take you over to the forum section where you can be able to ask, you know, your questions for a particular product or a particular course or anything about, you know, the site. Because I want it to be accessible for you I want it to be something where it's at your fingertips and you can be able to um, to be able to use it and if I go back here with this uh, template I just want to mention something that this template is a responsive design and it's been integrated with uh, bootstrap Twitter bootstrap and for those of you who don't know what that is Twitter bootstrap it's a platform that allows you to be able to create websites so much faster. You know, when years ago, in terms of web design, in order for you to get a, a create a really quality website, you had to know coding. You know, create stuff from from scratch, from the ground up. But with the new system now, with CMS platforms, they allow you to create that so much faster. So. Joomla has integrated uh, the features from Twitter Bootstrap with the Joomla framework. As a matter of fact, they're the first uh, major CMS platform to integrate Bootstrap. That means that the features you see on here, you can be able to incorporate those you know, on your website. And as I mentioned before, that's why it's so good that you learn a little bit more coding. As you learn coding, then you can do, you know, you can do some more stuff. So this to the bootstrap here. The framework, you know, is, is integrated, you know, into Joomla. So once you're creating a website, 
sometimes what I do is if there's something here that I see that I like and I want to be able to put it on my website, you know, it's just as easy as, as copy and paste. For example, I'm looking at these right where it says the button toolbar. If I wanted to incorporate this here, this particular this style in here on uh, a Joomla website, uh, all I have to do is just copy this and paste it in the editor, and it's going to look exactly just like this. And I actually did a, a tutorial, you know, a few months back on how you can be able to integrate the Twitter uh, Bootstrap framework directly in your Joomla site. So these buttons, you can be able to make use of them. And again here, I'm just giving you different information because this are things that are going to help you to further your knowledge in Joomla. So whether you want to create just a real basic site or just a site uh, for your company, for your business, you can be able to, to learn and do that. And I was able to create my website, this website, LearnJoomlaFast.com. Everything you see here was created with Joomla. And you see the buttons I was telling you before from Twitter? I was able to integrate, you know, use those button styles and put them on the site. The buttons right there. So all the stuff that you're learning, when you start to put that into application, it's going to you're going to be amazed. And as they say, the best way for you to learn is by doing. So if you you know become part of uh, for our network here, you know I really encourage you that just don't take the courses and then just okay, well I've taken the course, I understand how Joomla works. Well, there's more to it than that. You understand how Joomla works. The next point, the next phase is implementation. And that's what I did when I first started learning. I was so excited about it that within, you know, the first day or so, I created my first Joomla website. And I was ecstatic. I was like, wow, man, it's, it's, that, really, it's really that simple for me to be able to create, you know, a really good site. So I've implemented, you know, the things from Twitter Bootstrap into, you know, this framework. And in terms of styling, you know, how you want things to look, listen, it's very, it's not as, as difficult as, you know, as it seems. When people think about web design, you know, they just think about this, this process that's just so arduous, that's so hard and difficult and, and, and tense, and it can be, but it also can be fun. You know, and when I'm creating my sites, I have, I have fun, you know, I have a really great time creating them. All right, so right now we have 25 more files left in the queue, and we're almost ready to, to start doing, creating the site. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so it's complete. All right, now it's time to get to, get, get to work. All right, to do that, I would have to go to the folder that I'm creating this Joomla site on, which is uh, JTest. So, JTest, enter. All right, so once I get here, it's asking for some information. In order for me to complete the installation, I have to put in all the required fields right here. We have the asterisks. All right, where's the select language? Just leave that as the default English. Um, you can use other languages as well, but for the, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm just going to use just English, uh, United States, and the site name, JTest. And I can change all this later, you know, for the, for the client I'm creating this for, we can be able to change the names for it later. And for the description, matter of fact, Surefire Business Concept. So I'm just going to grab this name. And for the admin email, you put in an admin email. For the username, I'm just going to put in admin 
I'm going to create a password and then confirm it. Okay, so you've gotten those done. You click on next. All right, it's asking you for the database information. Remember, when we created the database earlier. I, you know, I told you you had to save that information so you can use it later. Well, this is the part that you use it. So right now it's asking for the host name, which is more usually localhost, and for the database name, I'm just going to copy the database that we created earlier. Oh, let me this the username. Since my username and uh, database name are the same, I don't have to change anything. Now I just have to put in the password. Uh, for the prefix, you don't want to change that. Just leave that ha as is. And then click Next. All right, and you get this install sample data. Just leave it as it is the old theme sample data. And when you scroll down, you want to make sure that your page look exactly like my page right now in terms of whatever is on on this page or yes should be the same on your part where it says email configuration. You just leave that to no for now. You can always change that later. Uh, site offline, no. So make sure that you, your site, your stuff, your setup look exactly like my setup. You don't want anything on this page to say no. Everything has to say yes. And there are times when you might have to magic quotes or say no. You have to make sure it's saying yes. If not, you will not be able to complete the installation. And it's letting you the PHP version. All this is just some technical stuff that you know you don't have to worry much about. But you just want to make sure that it says yes on this pre-installation check. Nothing here can have a different thing except for yes. All right, so once you're done, you click install. And this is going to go through the process. All right, there you have it. And once you've completed the installation, next, you want to click on remove installation folder. You need to remove it because if you don't remove it, someone else can come and reinstall it and, you know, mess it up. So once you've done that, you have the option here of going to site or going to administrator. Normally for me, I always go to the administrator because I want to make sure that the admin part is set up correctly. So I'm going to put in that username and the password. Okay, so now I am logged in on the back end. So to view what the site looks like on the front end, I'm going to click on the link right there. And there you have it. You have the this is what the site looks like on the front end. But we're going to modify this and change everything so that way it looks, it has to, you know, has your information on it. Because all this stuff is just the demo content that came, you know, with this template. So let's go back over here. All right, this is the admin part. And the admin section, this is where you manage your entire front end of your website. So everything you can change, the changes you make on the back end are going to show up on the front end. For example, if you want to change the menus, if you want to change this image, all those can be done on the back end uh, with this particular Joomla version. So let's get started first by changing the menu titles. Right now we have all this, but we don't need these. So the first thing that we want to do is let's change the menu titles. So by changing the menu titles, you have a roadmap for what you're actually creating. So you go to menus, main menu, and the main menu, this is where everything is, is located. All the items you see here on this main, uh, on the front end, are available back here. But I don't need all these drop downs, so I am going to change, and I'm just going to delete all the drop down menus. All right, to do so, Right over in the corner where you see 20, what's this saying is that there are only 20 items can be shown on the page. So I'm going to change that so I have everything on one page, all the menus on one page instead of two pages. If it's right at the bottom, you see two here. So 
I'll click on that and go to all. And all is going to list all the web, all the menu pay, um, items from that are available on the front end. So I don't need all the sub menus. So let's delete the sub menus. And to do so, instead of going through each one and clicking, you know, individually, I am just going to click on this check mark, and it checks all of them. What I need to do now is uncheck the ones that I don't want to delete. So I want to keep the home. And let's go in the front and want to keep the feature, the widget, and you want to keep the feature, features. And you want to take the widget, you want to keep that. And we also, icons, zoo, so let's scroll down. Let's find the icons menu, uncheck that, uncheck the zoo. And Joomla, let's go and uncheck that. All right. So right now, I don't need anything else. I don't need anything else in this particular menu. So what I'm going to do is there are two things you can do. You can just disable them, or you can just delete them. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to unpublish it. And I, and I explain why I'm just unpublishing it for right now. So just unpublish it. Alright, once you unpublish it, you notice that you still have all the items on the page. What you want to do next is you want to go to status and publish. That's going to pull up only the menus that are actually, you know, published on the front end. So if you go on the front end and you refresh it, you don't have any more drop down menus. All those drop down menus are gone. Alright, so now let's change. Let's keep home. And here I have the, the content that the client sent me, or the student sent me. And I'm just going to take in this, the content from here and just transfer it over with the. So the first part is we need an about us. So let's change feature to about us. All right. The alias, this is what the search engine see. For example, uh, when you go to the About Us page, it's going to say your website forward slash About Us or whatever you put in the alias, that's what, it's going to, that's what the page um, alias is going to be. For example, when you go to Features here, at the very top, it says Features. So this is the alias. So whatever name you put back there, that's the name that is going to show. So I'm just going to delete. If you don't, you can just delete it, and whatever the main title, the menu title is, is going to automatically translate into the alias. So once you've done that, save and close. For right now, we're just changing the titles. We're not linking to anything yet. And then we want to go over to the next page, which is uh, services. And then here the next page, which is online strategy. And then we have mobile design. Save and close. We have web design. All right, now I'm since I've clicked uh, the web design. That's the last item on the menu. Um, what I'm going to do now is just click save and new. And this is automatically just going to open up a new section so I can be able to just add something there. So we need content creation. The next page.
And I explain all this stuff later, but I'm just going to link it up now. And I believe the last page that we'll need content creation, we need to contact us. All right, so save and new. And then the last page that we're going to need is the contact. All right, since that's the last page, save and close. All right, so when we're going home on the front end now, we have we should have all the new stuff we just created. So we have all those menus. But if you notice, they're taking up so much space that it's not actually they can't all you know fit on the same line. Uh, we're going to fix that. So to fix that, instead of having all this, the title this long, we can just change, change some of them. So let's go from, from online strategy. We can just put in e strategy. And you can always change this. You know, you can update those later. You can tweak them. And for mobile design, just put in mobile. And I'm doing this because all the items couldn't fit in that, you know, in that section there. All right, let's take a look at it now and see what it looks like. Okay, so they fit, but there's one problem here. If you notice, you have this search bar right there. That kind of, you know, put things a little bit out the way. So let's go on and... And make some more changes here from content creation to content. All right, we'll say after this stuff here, the logo is above. And this is right at the bottom. Okay, now now that we've changed the menu, we need to take a look at. Um, in order for for you to be able to edit any type of template, you need to understand module positions. Every template is based on a module position, and pretty much module positions just let you know where you can put items on that particular template. So you need to enable the module position so you can view and see exactly where things are located. So go to options. You go from extension, template manager, and you go to options. And once you get there, it's saying module position is disabled. So click on enable, save and close. So now you have this little you know preview button here. So when you click on it, this is going to show you exactly where things are located on that template. So as you're putting stuff, you know exactly where you can put something and where you can't put something. So all the section in red, that's where you can be able to put um, different items. So scroll down, and you see you have some more there. All right, this like a, a module map allows you you know to see exactly you know where you can put things and it makes it so much easier when you're adding content alright so now that you have an understanding where the module map is let's start adding the pages and to do that you go to content article manager now in Joomla a web page is called an article so when you're creating a web page it's saying you're creating an article and when you first come here, you have all these 
pre-installed articles that you don't necessarily need. So you have all these. What you want to do here is you want to, you know, delete them or you can just unpublish them. Now, let me explain what unpublish. The reason why you unpublish instead of, you know, deleting completely from the system is that is there are some pages that have predefined styles that you might just want to use that style instead of recreating stuff over. Let's go to, let's see, if for example, this page. Maybe you want to have the check marks here that this item have. And instead of you having to recreate everything, you can just use that page um, to do so. So I'm just going to delete all the content from there since we don't need them. All right, I'm published. All right, so when I go to publish and I go back on the home page, you notice that it's just blank. All the content, you know, from there has just disappeared. There's there's nothing there. So let's take this search bar off right here. This search, I don't need it. So where you see where it says position search, we need to just disable that position. So you go to extensions. Module Manager. The Module Manager, you know, this is where all the items on the front end are located. So the position that we're looking for is search. We don't want that search bar. So you go to uh, select position and you find search. All the positions are located right over here where it says uh, select position. So whatever position you're looking for, all you have to do is click that drop down and it's going to show you that position. So this is the search. I'm just going to check, click on the check mark and just unpublish. So once I unpublish it and I refresh this page, I don't have that search there anymore. So now everything fits at the very top at the same spot as the menu. All right, so now that we've done that, let's uh, start off first by adding the About Us content. So you go to Content, Article Manager, Add New Article. All right, and I'm just going to grab the stuff from the content that I'm using here. So there's the About Us. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention before, um, in order for you to be able to edit things easier, you need to change the editor. And right now, this is using the, the default Joomla Tiny MCE editor. It's not the most friendliest. It's, it's not um, what I recommend for you to use. So you need to install what's called JCE. And JCE is a, you know, the best editor in Joomla that allows you to uh, edit your document, create you know create pages. So you go to choose, and I've already downloaded uh, the JCE. I just have to install it now. And every time that you want to install a new extension, then you're able to come here uh, through the extension manager to do that. So I just have to locate it. All right, so I've done that. Next, go to Systems, Global Configuration. And I need to change the default editor saying Tiny MCE. I need to change that to JCE. Save and close. All right, next, let's go back to adding a new article. And as you see now, the editor has completely changed, which is exactly what we need. So the about us, I'm just going to grab the content from, from this page. All right, 
I had to open up Notepad. Normally, I don't recommend that you just copy. If, for example, if you're copying stuff from Microsoft Word or somewhere else on the web, I don't recommend that you just copy and paste it over. Because if you copy and paste it over, there's some coding stuff there that is not clean. You want to make sure that the coding is clean. So I'm just going to copy. I use Notepad++. You can use regular uh, editor, like a Notepad. Just paste it there and then copy from there and then paste it over on the site. All right, save and close. All right, so that's the about us. And now let's add a few other pages. All right, we have next we have the mobile. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding the content pages for who we've already added. And as you can see here, most of it is, you know, is just copy and paste. And we have a few more here that we have the web design content. We have the content creation.
All right, so we've added all the pages. But if you come here, you don't see anything yet. They're not connected to anything at the moment. All this, when you click on those, you get the 404 page. That's because we have to connect the actual content to the menus. So let me just change the title, basic. All right, so now let's add the menus with the items on there. All right, so uh, let's add the about us. So to connect this, first you have to click where it says menu item type. You click on it, and you want to select articles, select single. And then you want to click on where it says select the article. This is going to allow you to connect this menu to that particular article. About, save and close. And now I'll do the same for the rest of them services. All right, I just realized the services was actually all the services listed here, not a menu in itself. So I'm just going to unpublish that. And let's go to online strategy. All right, so what I'm just doing here now is I'm just connecting the content we created so that when you click on that menu, it takes you to that page. All right, let's refresh the home page again. Right now on the home page, there's absolutely nothing there. We'll change that and change this picture here as well. All right, so when we go to the About Us page, you have the content that we'll put up there. You go to e-strategy. That's not connected yet. And let's go to content creation. All right, so the content creation page is there. The web design page is there. You can just add more content. The mobile, the mobile stuff is there as well. All right, the only stuff that's not here now is just the online strategy.
part so we've added the menu items and as you can see right now it's coming on pretty pretty good so let's change this the image here let's change that the demo stuff let's I created some content that we you know I'll show you how to replace those with all right so in order to change these you have to know the module position where this is located So you go to extensions, widget kit, and that was that was used to create this this beautiful slide. And you go to slideshow, scroll down where it says front page. You want to click on edit. And as you can see here, I'm just going to stretch this out more. This is the image the first part so I'm just going to change this here with something that I you know created and I'm just grabbing this from my computer And I created two two of them, so I'm just grabbing both of them and I'm just gonna install it. Alright, so let's change that. So when I refresh the home page the next time, these two the, the first two images are gonna be different. So we've changed the first one, now we can change the second one. Alright, save. Alright, so now I've changed the pictures here, and this is what you see. So as you can see, it's real basic and simple. You know, it doesn't require that much. You just have to know the dimensions of the particular picture, which for the slideshow, the dimensions for those are... Tell you right, all right, 980 by 260. So you have to create an image that has that same size if you want it to fit the same way. If you notice, this one doesn't fit because it's not the same uh, size as what was there before. But if you come on the first one, the first slide show, everything fits right there. And you have this nice button here that you can also edit. All right. With the buttons, if you want to change, let's say instead of saying visit our blog or get your ticket, you can just put your mouse on there and you can delete it. Like see pricing. Latest deals. Alright, so that's done. Click save. And I've just changed the bunch from what it set before to see pricing, latest deals. And then you want to, if you want to take the foot apart here, you know, there's some stuff here that you want to take this, the branding for that off. Go to extensions, template manager, and the name of this particular template is the uh, U Solar. So you click on that, and you go to options. All right, it's not. All right, this particular one doesn't have those at the very, you know, on the template section. So this is where the module map comes in. 
And the module map tells us that if you want to edit the stuff here at the bottom, you have to go to the footer. So we'll go over to module manager extensions. Go to module manager. And then you want to find the position that says footer. All right, so you click on the footer. All right, this right now is giving this message. Sometimes this happens. Um, whenever you see a lock on a particular item, maybe you're editing that item and you forgot to close it out the right way. You just X out you know, that page without properly closing it out. What you need to do is to go to system. Whenever you see a lock on any part of your Joomla site and you can't open that page, you have to use what's called global check-in. So you go to system, global check-in, and then you click and it's going to check everything here and you just click check in okay so now when we go back to the to that particular item it's unlocked so that lock is not there anymore and from this point you should be able to edit it so it allows you to edit and you go to custom outputs so the stuff at the bottom at the footer here you can be able to change the name for this so where it says copyright and the power you know you can just come here so copyright 2013 14 actually Save and close. So once you come now on the front end and you scroll at the bottom, you don't have you have you know your own company's name there. And then for these here, if you don't need all these our company support network services, you can just disable those or you can delete them but I'm just going to disable these so you come back to the module map to the module map and you know that everything at this at the bottom here is located in bottom B so let's go over to we're at the module manager and let's find position bottom B and this everything that's located at the bottom B so I'm just going to check this and just um, publish So when you refresh, all the stuff there's gone. There's no, you know, nothing there at the bottom. And you want to change this uh, address and stuff here. You go back to the module map, and the module map map tells you that this is located in the bottom A. So you go back to the module manager and you find bottom A. go to custom output I'm just going to delete let me just replace this all right so I'm deleting that and I don't think we necessarily need this section here at the bottom so we can just get rid of it just unpublish save and close and we know that this map from looking at the module map this is located in the bottom A so we're just going to disable everything on the bottom A part alright so now we have just this and the footer part Okay, now if you notice here, uh, before I told you about the different styling for this, where it says uh, download this hair, what you want to do is we're just going to take that off. 
So we need to find out what position it's in, which is more than likely on the right side. This is sidebar A. Or sometimes too, if you're if you're trying to locate where something's located, you can just put download. You can put the name of this particular title of that module position is going to bring it up. So I'm just going to delete, disable that. On our right click, reload. I have just this information now on this page. You go to the about us. And once again, you see this here, but we don't need this stuff here. So I'm going to take everything off except for the login. So when I refresh this page, it's just, just about this information there. All right, now let's say I want to put this login. I want to put the login throughout the entire site except for the home page. So I click on that login and you have to choose, you go to menu assignment, you have to choose where you want that particular um, menu to show or item to show. And the menu ma assignment, you can pick and choose if you want it to show up on certain pages, you can do that. So just by going through this, I just click where it says select none that means right now it's not showing up on any page at all but if I click all and save when I refresh this page you see the login at the right section right here the login so if you want your clients to be able to create an account if you want them to be able to log in you can do that so when you go on the home page as well you see that you have the login stuff on there So I'm just going to use this about us content as the home page content. But you can always change that. I just want to demonstrate to you how simple and easy it is for you to be able to just, you know, create a site. So go to menu item type. So when you go on the home page now, you have that content. So you can you can edit this content to say whatever you want it to say. You can change it. You can change the images. And also you can change the logo. So let's go change the logo. In order to change the logo, you need to find out what position is the logo in. So the logo is in a position called logo. So from you go to extension, module manager. You want to find that position called logo. So you click on the logo position and click on it. Right now, this is the logo that's there. You can't really see it. So I'm just going to replace it. All right, that's a little bit small, but you can always, you know, change the size of it. I just want to demonstrate how simple and easy 
it is for you to All right, so you put it right there. Now it's just overlapping a little bit. You just have to um, change the size for it, and it should be able to fit. But overall, you know, within this short time, you know, within about less than an hour or so, we've been able to create uh, a basic business page. And from here, you have the blueprint that you can be able to come back. You can edit. You can add more stuff. You can add images. You can add a blog. and you go to the contact page it has this stuff here so let's go work on the contact page so you go to components you go to contact and we're gonna pick the first John Q and I believe I have the contact information right over here so I was gonna grab these and just put them Some of this is just real self-explanatory, and once you get the hang of it, then you can be able to you can be able to create websites real fast. save it and see what that looks like so we just added the contact page and and there you have it there's the contact the address there's the information there's the contact form so if someone to contact this you know this company all they need to do is put in their name email subject message and click send and it goes directly over to to the person. Save and close. All right, so pretty much we started with you know with this. This what we started with was just a, a blank canvas, and we've somehow been able to end up with something like this. And there, the possibilities are, are endless with this thing. You know, my purpose for creating this uh, this hangout was just to show you how simple it is. The longest part, the longest part for this hangout was uploading the course, which you know, I mean, the the files, which took you know time. But once you get past that, you can be able to create a, a professional business website within an hour. It's just that simple. And you can have a really great uh, presentation. Now, we can all agree that this one and this one are pretty much night and day. You know, of course, there's some modifications that needs to be completed, uh, just some basic things like, you know, just, just the logo and adding more content on the pages. But for the most part, the site is, uh, is you know, much better. So now let's check for mobile accessibility. Let's say someone want to view this site on a different, on like the iPhone or the Nexus. I am going to actually look at this on, there's this website that I go to, it's called mobiletest.me. And I'll check here to see what it looks like on different devices. So let's go with the iPhone 5, for example. So put in the address, 
enter. And there you have it. So it's, it's mobile ready. So people can actually view this site from their mobile phones, from different tablets and different devices. So when you scroll down, everything is responsive. That means that it's, it moves based on the size of that particular device. So let's scroll back up here. Let's uh, check out a different device. Let's check out the Google Nexus 7. You click the drop down, you get the menu, you go to the about us, and everything is, you know, shown exactly how it needs to show. So the site is already mobile ready. Let's check out what else can we see here. Um, oh, let's check out the iPad. So when someone is viewing this site from the iPad, this is what they see. Very clean uh, design. They can be able to go to different pages. They can log in from here. So as you can see, it's, it's very easy to get started here with, with Joomla. You know, the purpose for this, this once again, this uh, Hangout was just to give the basics. There's so many different things in terms of um, that you can do more with this system. And that's why I created, you know, the LearnJumlaFast.com because it allows you to get help, to get support for, you know, the stuff that you need help with. When you learn how to do something, you can be able to access it and learn from there. And everything that I'm doing now is, you know, was done with Joomla. So I'm not, a lot of times people teach how to use something and then they'll use something else to create their sites. Not me. Whatever stuff I'm teaching you, I'm using the exact same software to create my site as a way to motivate you so you can see that you can accomplish this. You know, it's something that's attainable. It's not something that's just, a, you know, far out, far fetched that you can't really get it. So this is the site, learnjumlafast.com. And my goal is to be able to present you with quality content, you know, something that you can be able to learn step by step. I'm always, always, you know, working on new information, new content for you um, so that you can be able to, to, to use it to grow your business. I've been using Joomla for years, since 2007 or 8, and I've created a lot of sites with this. And I've also made some money, you know, doing it. And here's my other website that I created with, with uh, Joomla, uh, Tame and Inc. All this is Joomla sites. This sites were created with Joomla. And let me show you a few more other sites that are, are Joomla sites. And this sites were created with the same methods and technique that I'm teaching in all these courses. And this for another client that I, you know, was done for. Um, Specialmatch.com is a social network for, you know, people with kids with special needs. This is the Joomla site. And here's another one. Just one more here. Landerslist.com. This is the Joomla site as well. So I work with this client and, you know, show them how to do some basic stuff and, and, and teach them and, and kind of mentor and, and show them what to do. And they've been able to take their business and just run with it. That when I come back here, I'm just amazed at the new stuff that I'm seeing them do on here. Because I'm like, I didn't add that there, but because of the training that they had, they stuck with it, you know. That's the thing about success. If you want to be successful with something, you can't just give up so easily. A lot of times people say, well, that didn't work out. You all, Joomla didn't work out for me. Or that didn't work out. Did you stick with it, or did you just give up just because you came, you know, press a hurdle? If I had given up on Joomla, I would not have been here talking to you right now. But I decided because when I first learned Joomla, I knew something. I, I, I had a feeling that something. This was something big for me. This was something great. So I stuck with it. I didn't give up. Um, because I knew that it's, it can be an opportunity for me, you know, to be able to to create stuff for clients and, and make money while doing it. So in the beginning, we started with this site, a basic canvas, nothing on it, just plain. And, you know, we've been able to end up with something that's a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more uh, professional, more clean. 
And as I mentioned in the beginning, whenever you're creating a website, your number one goal is you want uh, a site that's very easy to navigate. You don't want to have a site that people get frustrated, you know, trying to access the site. I've seen so many people have websites that you get to it and you're frustrated because you can't figure out where things are. You don't know what to do, where to click. But with this site, and I'm definitely going to work with this client more to, to help improve you know, the site, but my goal was to teach you that you can't do this. I started out, I didn't know anything about Joomla, but I've been able to successfully um, learn the system, and now I want to teach you how you too can you know, be able to use this system for your business. And it's so easy to manage. There's so many things that I didn't cover in this in this segment, and that's only because of, of time. If I go into a little more details, then it's, you know we're looking at hours to you know do some more more advanced stuff. And that's why I created the LearnJumlaFast.com so that you can be able to go there and get all the tools that you need, you know, to access it. So I hope that you know you, you've you've learned something from this. It's allowed me to work for myself. You know, it's more than just website creation for me. It's allowed me to be able to spend time with my kids, and I can sit I can sit on the, on, the, on the couch and creating websites and making money doing it from the comfort of my home. You know, I don't have to. Uh, go out there and do the nine to five. I've I've I tried doing that nine to five thing, you know, for up to about two thousand eight or so, and it just didn't work out for me. You know, one or two things happened. I it just never had never worked out. So once I found Joomla, this was like uh, an epiphany. Like wow, that light bulb just came in, and I've been using this system to 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 do great things. So um, you can sign up now for. It. We have our subscription package. You can pay a monthly fee or you can pay a yellow fee. Right now, the monthly fee is $99 per month or just $5.99 per year. And you access everything that I just showed you, plus support. The biggest thing for me uh, in terms of learning is support. You know, I'm pretty sure you can go out there and find a whole bunch of stuff about Joomla this and Joomla that. But when you need support, when you need someone to, to guide you by the hand and answer your questions, you know, it's, it's hard for you to, you know, people want to charge you a ridiculous rate, you know, for them to give you support. So I've made everything so easy uh, and, and a real affordable package so that everyone can be able to afford it to, you know, to learn Joomla. So, you know, this has been fun. You know, it's been fun for me. You know, this is my first hangout. And I'm, I'm, I'm the type that I love to improve on stuff. You know, so if you have, you know, feedbacks, you know, comments, I'm always looking to improve on the things that I do. You know, I just don't, I'm never satisfied with just mediocre. You know, with the homepage, the site homepage, I had to redo it over and over and over until... I felt that I had something was was professional, you know. I just don't want to present something that that's horrible quality. So I spend 20 hours a day just working on this Joomla stuff. And the reason why I spend that much time on it is because I'm a perfectionist. Things have to be in a certain position, in a certain way for me to be satisfied with it. So if you're an entrepreneur... Creating a website is very costly. When I started, I had people quoting me, you know, a few hundred dollars, a few thousands to get it done. As a matter of fact, I got a quote from someone um, just to, you know, have fun with it. How much they would charge me to create my site, the Learn Gym with Fast and the other sites that I've created. And the quotes that I received were just astronomical. If you don't know anything about web design, then you can just say, okay, well, I'll just pay that amount. But if you learn, you can be able to take that and go from there. You just don't, you know, just leave it at that. So that's the goal for this. You know, that's the point of having this is that I want you to take this system and do something with it. You know, it's allowed me to make some money doing it. I can be able to create, you know, professional websites really quickly, you know, in a record time, 
and everything looks clean and, and, and easy to access. So now that you have this information in your hand, what are you going to do with it? You know, and I hope that you become part of our LearnJumaFast.com network because that is going to allow you to learn at a so much faster pace. You know, watching videos or clips from YouTube about creating a Joomla website, you won't get too far with it because if you have questions, you need support, you need someone to be there for you and, and actually help you with it. So that's what I'm offering. It's not just that, but it's offering you support. You know, it's offering you support uh, with the system. So I definitely, you know, I definitely want to connect with you. Listen, I'm, I just love people. I, my passion is people. So whenever I get the opportunity to, to network with someone and, and to talk with them, that brings me so much joy. You know, networking for me is a big deal. And I'm always looking to network with different people, you know, because there's so much stuff that I'm still learning even with Joomla. You know, and I just want to keep growing. That's the one thing is that I never want to get complacent or get content at a certain level. So whatever I can do with this broadcast this is my first time doing it. And I'm pretty sure there are a thousand things I could have did better. And it's okay. I go back and I review this and I watch every single minute of it and see what I can improve on. So next time when I'm doing it, it's a bet it's better. The you know, the presentation is so much better. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to try new things. This is new for me. You know, I do a lot of different type of recordings, but this is the first time I'm, I'm doing this, this Google Hangout. And I think it went pretty well. You know, so hopefully you learn something from it. And I want to connect with you. I want to network with you to help you grow your business. So uh, I love working with, you know, businesses of different sizes, but I even love more startup because. As when you start a business, there's so many different components that if you don't have the right foundation, it's going to cost you so much more in the end. I had a, uh, a guy call me one time. He said that he spent over $1 million uh, with his business, but he hasn't made any profit yet. And as the more I spoke to him and the more we talked, I realized that his foundation wasn't steady. He didn't have a good foundation at all. And in order for you to but successful, you need a great foundation. For me, uh, Joomla presents uh, a really good foundation. From coming from a background that I didn't know how to code, to learning how to code and, and create websites and, and do all those things, you know, it, it's it's been a, a blessing for me. You know, it's been a blessing for me, and I hope that I get to network with you. You know, and you know, I just I just love people. You know. If I get the opportunity to, to chat with some of you and to, if that brings me joy. So if this helps one person, 100 people, you know, my courses have been seen and used by over 2,000 people, you know, uh, entrepreneurs, small businesses, and people who are just looking to either make extra income or they are looking to create a website for themselves and they don't have the money to spend. You know, this is going to teach you exactly everything that you need to do so. So uh, I look forward to seeing you being part of our community, and I look forward to uh, connecting with you. So until next time, you know, this is Matthew Taman. I would, you know, I'll see you soon. Uh, but before that, let me see if anyone else have any questions. If you have any questions, you can be able to just. Uh, type it in over here, and I'll be more than happy. Um, and also, too, you know, I give my clients, you know, and some, some students, they have my contact information, whether it's my, you know, my cell phone. Sometimes they, you know, I have quite a few of them sometimes call me with, you know, different questions or send me an email. I'm very responsive when it comes to my email. So when you send me an email, you know, or a text, I usually get back to it within, you know, a few minutes unless, you know, I'm, I'm so backed up that I can't really, you know, respond to you at that time. But for the most part, when you reach out to me, I, you know, I reach out back to you, you know. So this Hangout is right now officially – Close and go to learnjumlafast.com for more information and what we have to offer. 
and I am so excited. <sighs> now I can take a breather. My first Google Hangout is over, and my stomach over is just going. <clears throat> you know, I, I'm seeing donuts, and I was hungry. So I am about to get get my eat on, see what's been made. Until next time, I see you at learnjoomlafast.com. Peace.